Hi guys. I don't even want to say happy Sunday because truthfully, unless I look at a clock or a, my calendar, I don't know what day it is. I don't think days matter anymore. Um, we are all home here at Team Barkovich. We are all home and which is good because that means we're all safe and everything is good with that. Um, but I got to say, things get a little bit groundhog day around here so um yesterday I did projects all day in the house I painted my bedroom and you know we've just been working on all things hi Jackie hi Vanessa hi Lindsay um hi so um for the last two days I have not worn any makeup I was just kind of like trying to keep busy to keep my mind busy keep my hands out of my fingers out of my mouth because I'm chewing my nails at a rapid rate and you know, there's just so much going on that I'm just trying to not sit here and watch the news all day. So anyway, Justin is behind that door assembling some Ikea furniture. And um, so if you hear him whistling and or banging around, he's just on the other side of that. And I have to wash that mirror terribly. Hi, how are you? Hi Shelby, hi Jess. Okay, so we're gonna do just a little 18 piece makeup kit glow. Um, Hi Susan, how are you? Um, hey Allison. So using all the products here today, if there's there's going to be two products that I'm not going that aren't in the 18 piece makeup kit, that is this um, Redness Rescue Mattifying Powder and the refi Refinishing Spray. When I use them, I will tell you that they're not part of the 18 piece makeup kit, so that you don't get confused. Um, but it's a tremendous deal and really, really good for you. So we're gonna start with a little makeup primer. All products are Arbonne, all clean, vegan, gluten-free, soy-free, dairy-free, uh, paraben-free, cruelty-free, all those things. I did a beautiful um, renew and refresh detox mask on my skin this morning. It felt amazing. And honestly, it has like cleared up my stress acne really well. Hi, Peg. Hi, Tara. Hi, Allison. Hi, Meg. So I put primer all over my face. I put it on my eyelids. Um, believe it or not, some people do have oily eyelids, and it's going to make your eyeshadow stay in place that much better if you have a little bit of primer on there. Hi, Holly. And it feels so good that you're literally going to want to put it everywhere because it's incredibly silky smooth. The other deal with primer is you want it to sit on your face for just a couple of minutes so you're not blending into it. You're going to be blending right on top of it. Speaking of blend, look at that shadow root. Just did such a good job on my hair last week. I was so glad to have it done. So glad. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Ashley. All right, so we're going to go in with uh, liquid foundation today. I'm using the shade Soft Blush because I haven't been outside in a week. However, I did get this Arbonne Liquid Sunshine. It is a completely clean, non-toxic, vegan, sunless tanner. And I got the um, Garden of Roses gift set. So this has a rose body spray in it and a rose body butter. And I'm gonna put some of this in the body butter so when I put it on every night, I'm also self-tanning. There's no weird smell to this. It's literally amazing. So I can't wait to use this. If you were supposed to get away to Florida like I was, and that trip is now canceled, go ahead and grab you some of the liquid sunshine. Hi, Mariah. Hi, Nadine. Hi, Kristen. All right, so liquid foundation. I'm using the shade Soft Blush because your friend Megan is rather pasty looking. And I just put a little bit on the back of my hand. I start with one squirt. I usually don't need more than that, but I only go in with one squirt. I don't apply it directly to my face. I put it on my skin first so I know where I'm blending it. Hi, Kristen. And as always, if you are interested in any of these products, I can help color match you so that um, you know you're getting the right shade. I just need a recent selfie uh, facing a window. You can have makeup on or you can do no makeup. Totally up to you. And I also wanted to point out, even though we're not talking about nutrition at this very moment in time, that Arbonne has been deemed um, completely like one of the essential services because we do nutrition 
Um, so you do not have to worry about Arbonne closing. The As long as everything stays stable in the two warehouses that we have in Indiana and New, um, California, uh, worker safety is number one. And right now it looks like no problem with that. Hi, Jenny. All right, so I am going to take my, ooh, sorry. It wasn't an earthquake, it was just me. All right, so this is an Eco Tool sponge. I wash it with hot water and hand soap every time before I use it so that it's nice and clean. Also, a little bit of um, liquid in there, a little dampness is gonna help blend it out on your skin that much better. And also, it just eliminates any bacteria that's hiding in there so that you don't spread it back on your face and get unnecessary breakouts. Don't nobody need that on top of what we're already dealing with. Hi, Jen. Okay, so I just take the round side and just kind of bounce it on my skin like this. And this is called stippling. And it just blends your makeup in really effortlessly. So you don't have to do it hard, just kind of pounce it on top until you see that that product's moving around. Hi, Nicole. So what is everyone doing to occupy themselves if you are not working right now? Um, I'm in New York. If you're not in New York, I'll let you know what's going on here. So Governor Cuomo has made it mandatory that 100% of the workforce that is non-essential either work from home or not work to um, really kind of get a hold of what's going on. So both my husband and I are home right now. I plan events for a living. Um, I do event design and installation. So obviously there are no large gatherings happening at this current date and um, Justin's in the car business. So unfortunately that is also not an essential service. So we are both here doing house projects. Hi Casey, hi Andrea. So we're both home. I've gotten a lot of house projects out of the way. Tomorrow I am about to become a pre-K teacher and a third grade teacher. Pray for me because I am not a patient person and my children have about this much patience for when mom tells them how to do something. So this could get a little dicey. We're going to go in with a positive attitude though. All right, so we're also going to go in with a little concealer. This is in the shade Fair, which is the lightest shade that we carry. And the reason for that is I like a really bright under eye when I highlight and contour. So you don't need much. And I love this applicator because you don't need to worry about how much you're putting on. You don't have to worry about over applying. Let's erase that. Hi, Susie, how are you? Hi, Christine. I have watched so many hair and makeup tutorials in the last few days, just needing to like zen out. Not because I'm looking for anything in particular, but just because I feel that I could watch this all day, honestly. It's like mindless, calm entertainment. Hi, Meredith. All right, so same Eco Tool sponge. We're just gonna grab this short flat side right here, and I'm just gonna press it in, and you can see how that, hot, that area right there just sort of blends into the concealer. Hi, Anne, how are you? Say hi when you guys hop on. Hi, love. So it just brightens up that under eye. This is how you can also kind of cheat the system if you are wearing like your summer shade of foundation or something like that. You can always brighten up your under eye. That way if your foundation looks a little bit dark on you, it's not gonna look like misplaced. I can wear about five different shades of foundation. The perfect shade, two shades lighter and two shades darker. And I can cheat it with bronzer and highlight if I need to. I love this makeup predominantly because it doesn't make it feel like you're wearing a mask. It really just feels like you're kind of magic erasing your face. Getting my zen on now watching a makeup tutorial. Honestly, that's how I zone out. Hi, Kim. Thank you so much. Okay, we good. So now we're going to go in with Setting Pretty Translucent Setting Powder. This is setting powder not only does it smell <coughs> like cupcakes it also has a little bit of like um 
a glow to it and it makes your skin feel really glowy too. So I'm actually going to put this on sponge and just kind of tap it in just like this. And this is gonna set that under eye so it stays nice and bright. And using the sponge is gonna make sure that you just put a very little bit on because you don't wanna sort of put too much product on. It's gonna settle on your under eyes and you're gonna notice things like fine lines increasing. And we wanna eliminate that. We don't need that kind of negativity in our life right now. Hi, Heather. I can't wait to go with a little bronzer. I wish it was warmer out because I think we could all use a little fresh air here, but outside doesn't really exist to me until it's like 75 degrees, to be honest. Okay, so bronzer, super important part. This is our contour step. So this is the Glow On Bronzer. Everything, like I said, that I've used and that I'm going to use comes in the 18-piece makeup kit. It's amazing. Um, this month, we also have the Build Your Own Bundle where any 400 PV, which is the price before discounts and everything, um, any 400 PV purchase gets 40% off automatically plus free shipping. Hi, Liz. No, I didn't. I'm waiting for Justin to put the dresser together so I can take a picture of it, but he's taking his sweet time. It's Ikea, so I'm going to give him a pass. This thing literally had like 2,000 pieces. <clears throat> All right, so bronzer. We're just going to blend that right into the cheekbone and add a little bit of color and life to our face. Uh, so would that bronzer work with my colors? Absolutely. And so we only offer bronzer in one color and literally I have used it on people with very olive complexions and then I've used it on myself and I am literally Casper the Friendly Ghost and it's totally buildable. So if you want it to be darker, you add a little bit more. For me, I always go in pretty, pretty lightly, like once in the palette and there's plenty for me. Hi, Katie. Yeah, so I painted my bedroom all day yesterday. And it was like a very good use of my time, honestly, because I just like turned the music way up. I didn't talk to anybody. I just like sang along to the music. I felt accomplished when it was all said and done. I slept like a baby afterwards. It was all good. Sides of the nose. Just want to make sure that you're getting all of the angles of your face when you do your bronzer, including your jawline. There is something about, even though when we're stuck at home, there's something about when I get ready in the morning I just feel like I'm getting ready for something in particular and I'm honestly so much more productive when I do that than when I just kind of like slouch around in pajamas all day. It's really kind of an interesting psychological thing. All right, let's go in with a little bit of blush. Uh, does the type of brush make a difference? Okay, so I use a couple of different brushes. I used to use, here I'll show you the ones that I use. So these are the three brushes that I have used for bronzer. I used to use this one. This was an e.l.f. brush. It's is actually a foundation blurring brush because I felt like it got into the hollows of my cheek. I stopped using this because I didn't think it was large enough that it was distributing the product in a wider area. And I felt like I was looking too, um, too dark in some areas and it wasn't blending it out well. So I stopped using that. And then I was using this. And this is an IT brush for Ulta. And I thought that this would be good because I could kind of follow the curve. But again, this was kind of limiting my range. So then I moved to this. And this was also, um, I think this was, I got it in a set. And I got it at Ulta many moons ago. I don't know who made this one. But this is like a fluffy powder brush, but it's pretty dense. Um, and I like this one because it's a little bit larger. So it distributes the product a little bit 
bigger and it buffs it out so I don't end up looking streaky. Um, I was just going to ask if you get ready every day despite the quarantine. I don't. Um, the last two days I didn't put any makeup on, but all I was doing was painting and I was just kind of like the last two days. I didn't really, I was in like a mental place where I just kind of wanted to mindlessly do something. I didn't want to like, I didn't really care what I looked like. To be honest, I did just stuff around the house. So last night I took a shower and I did a face mask and I blew out my hair and I woke up today and I felt a little bit more normal. All right, so let's go in with the shade Blossom in blush. You get a blush with your 18-piece makeup kit. Literally everything in the 18-piece kit is everything that you need for a full face, everything including the primer. Um, so this shade Blossom is just gorgeous. I like it. It's a little bit richer than just like a, like this is my... This one blossom right here this is the perfect shade for just a really natural flush and blossom is just a little bit more concentrated than that i'm not afraid of blush i love blush uh the shade taffeta is one of my favorites too it's like a barbie pink but you'll be amazed they're super pigmented so literally just once and you don't have to add too much once and then we're gonna blend it out even more so that you don't look like you're gonna be in a school play. But blush, honestly, it it brings so much warmth and color to your face and polish. I never was a blush person. I didn't think that there was like a value to it until I started wearing it. And I always kind of go over it. This is just, um, this is a Real Techniques blush super powder brush so it's enormous and I always go over my bronzer and my blush with it just to kind of buff it out a little bit more no matter what color I'm wearing. I now let's do let's do brows. Okay so your brow kit comes with two different brow products. Um, you get the brow pencil and you get the brow cream. So I'm using the shade light today because I'm pretty light on my hair but I also use the shade medium and then in the cream I use a uh, light medium so this is a double-ended pencil meaning one end has the actual product and the other end has a spoolie and I will do a little close-up for you here all right so when you start with your brow you're going to want to start on the bottom inside corner just like this and then you're going to want to just follow your brow line on the bottom I do short little strokes so that I don't come in sort of too dark and you go all the way to the tail of your brow. And then when I do the top, I start just a little bit further back because I like to maintain that front of my brow looking really natural. And I just follow and grab the little baby hairs that live right on top of my natural brow and it helps me to have a better arch on my brow and then we're going to fill in the arch to the tail that should be the thickest strongest part of your whole brow and then we're going to comb everybody up just like that so even without the brow cream you can see how much more full this brow looks and it just looks like it supports my face a little bit better so then when we add the brow cream it's got this adorable little wand and I just sort of brush everybody up and towards the side of my face. It kind of helps to fill in your brows and it also helps to kind of keep them in place during the day. Just like that. So the difference is very subtle. That's one of my favorite things about the Arbonne makeup is that it's incredibly subtle. However, you can definitely tell that it's there. It's not subtle when you're like, I don't know, it doesn't look like there, you did anything. You still look like you. You just look like a more polished version of you. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna fix this brow so that they're twins, even though there's that whole saying, your, your brows should be sisters and not twins. I'm kind of a, a twins believer here. So just following that bottom arch and then the top, 
crab and those little baby hairs. When I um, did my detox mask earlier today, I followed it up by using one of those little tinkle razors on my face and just kind of like getting all the baby hairs off of my face. It always makes your makeup go on 100% better and more smooth without that. It also helps your skin care seep in when you get all those dead skin cells off. If you don't know what I'm talking about, let me know and I will definitely go into detail about it because I love doing that to my face. And we're brushing up. So you don't need to have a really super strong brow if they scare you. For example, my mom always says, don't put those crazy brows on me, Megan, if I do her makeup. What type of razor do you use? I got them on Amazon. I might have them in the bathroom here. Um, hold on, I'll grab it and show you. No, I'm not going anywhere, silly. I'm right here. All right, so I got these on Amazon. They're just the little tinkle razors. I want to say that they're by Chic. Um, so they just look like this. I want to say they come in the three pack. Um, what you want to do is thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly wash your face. Um, and then what you do is, what do you have on your feet? Belly shoes. They're the little invisible socks. Ballet shoes. You're kidding me. You're funny. All right, so you want to wash your face thoroughly. And then um, you're going to want to put like a toner on it or alcohol or something like that. Um, you want to pull your face taut and you want to go... What way do you want to go? I don't know if there's really a method to my madness because I think I actually go both ways. I think I start and I go up this way. I clean it off after every, under hot water, after every, you know, pass through. And then I go the other way. But I literally do from the base of my neck up to my forehead. I do everything. <laughs> um, yeah, these are definitely chic razors. They're really inexpensive. Um, but I don't do it all the time. I do it like maybe every other two weeks, but it's like, especially, you know, if you get like fuzzies right above your lip, you would be amazed how much peach fuzz you just kind of accumulate on your face, but also for dead skin, it gets off a ton of dead skin. So after I do the tinkle razor, I wash my face again, and then I'll usually do like, a another cleansing mask or something like that. And then I make sure that I use a great night cream or super hydrating oil or something like that. Um, I put our RE9 Advanced on after I did it because I really wanted to super infuse my skin with hydration. And when you get all that stuff off your face is when it's ready to accept it the most. All right, so brows, brows are done, aren't they? Did I do this? I didn't do this yet. I gotta do some brow cream. But I think dermaplaning your face is one of the greatest ways of getting rid of dead skin. Just make sure you do it, like sanitize all your products. Um, these are really inexpensive, especially right now, like doing the things for yourself that you would normally go out and get facials or whatever the case may be. We're kind of having to all retrofit um, our regular scheduled programming into what we can do for ourselves at home. And that's one of the things that I know I love in a facial service, but a facial is nowhere on the horizon for me. So luckily with all of my Arbonne products, I was able to do that at home and feel really good about my skincare still. All right, so you guys tell me what palette you wanna see. This is palette one. You get an eyeshadow palette. Um, you can pick for volume one or volume two. This is volume two. It's got sort of more of the pastels and then volume one has more of the earth tones. So the first one to tell me which palette you would like to see, one or two, gets to be the winner. And I got a new eyeshadow called Sage, which is this really dark green that I wanna to use today. So no matter what, all right, Vanessa, we're gonna use one for you, girl. And I wanted to use Sage Eyeliner, which is a really pretty like army green. I love experimenting with eyeliner. Still dark. And how are your nails? These are fake. These are 
glue press on nails because I've literally chewed my nails down to absolutely nothing because that's what I do when I'm stressed out. Hi Rachel, how are you? All right, one it is. So this is a this is like totally Kim Kardashian vibes, a hundred percent. Whenever I look at her, show any of the products off, um, I always when I look at this, it's what I think: the packaging, the coloring, everything. All right, so we have to think of something that's going to go with this gorgeous green eyeliner, and I think I want to use these two shades right here, which are cactus and amber. We're going to use these. So I'm going to go on with cactus, which is this dark sort of, it's like a brownish bronze. And I'm just going to build this into my crease. Now, one of the things some people get irritated with me for is I go in very light and I take my time with my eyeshadow. All of these shadows are really well pigmented and I like how you can build up the color so you don't have to go in and be like shockingly one color or another. Um, it also gives you more ability to mix and match and create your own eye look. So I always start lighter and I build up the color if I want it to be darker and richer. So this is still that same shade cactus and I'm just building it up in the crease to get a little bit more wow factor. Alright. Alright, so let's go in with the shade amber. Actually. I'm gonna go with the shade Desert instead, this one right here. And I'm actually just gonna put it on my finger like that. And we're going to sort of press it onto the inside corner and spread it out right onto the center of our lid. And that is going to just brighten up that eye, make us look more awake and alert. And you don't need a special tool to do it, you can use your finger. And I just kind of spread it right into the crease. And I'm going to grab a little bit of that shade Cactus on that same brush and just put it on my lower lash line. We're not going anywhere. So if I want to build this up again, I will, but I don't want to go too overboard because I kind of want to see this green. So this green, again, is called Sage gorgeous eyeliner and I'm just going to blend it right into my lash line and I go pretty conservative on it and I go slightly thicker on the outside corner. But all of our eye products are hypoallergenic. So if you have sensitive eyes, do not worry about these products. They will not irritate them. Yeah, so I'm calling this my depression manicure because normally I would go get like acrylics or ANC on or something and that keeps me from biting them. But that is certainly not an option here in New York anytime soon. So uh, it's press-ons all the way for me. Okay, so Speaks Volume Mascara comes in your 18-piece kit. And I always put my mirror down beneath me. And it usually prevents me from making a mess. And I just go kind of slow. This wand is amazing for separating your lashes. And if you just kind of go slow and do the whole wiggle and roll, you're going to see every single one of your lashes grow right in front of your eyes but I do do two coats, do do. I will say, I used to be with, I'm sure if you've followed me for any length of time, I used to be with another brand of makeup before I left 
and started Arbonne. And I never thought that I would find another mascara that I liked as much as the one I was using with that company. But I have to say, I like the Speaks volume for a million different reasons. But I do think I like it better than what I was using before because it does a much better job of not producing like a clumpy, fake looking lash. It still gives you really great volume and separation and definition. Um, it also does not fall out during the day. I used to have people tell me that they felt like their mascara sort of shed or crumbled on their face during the day. That was personally not my experience, but I never have an ounce of like drip from this. Hi, Jojo. And I just try to get those little baby lashes on the inside corner to pop out. <clears throat> oh, thanks, Britt. So when you do your second coat, you're gonna notice that there's a little bit of extra resistance because there's already product on your lashes. Just go slow and wiggle that wand and you're not going to like feel like you're clumping up. Putting the mirror down beneath you though is certainly a huge help. Hi Sandy, hi Casey. All right, so I'm gonna take and just do my lower lashes. What the heck has landed here? Oh. This is the part in the video where it all sort of comes off the rails, right? All right, so I'm just gonna do a little bit on my lower lash line, otherwise you wouldn't know I had lashes there. This is such a delicate wand though that you really don't have to worry about getting those like tarantula lashes that I can't stand. Hi Lauren, hi Jill. So I am going to go in and use a product that does not come in the 18 piece kit. This is the uh, Redness Rescue. So this is a mattifying powder. If you get oily, you want to grab this gem. But if you look at it, you can see from a little bit further back, it's got a greenish tint to it. So green is across from red in the color wheel, and it does a great job of canceling out things if you have redness on your face. Um, there are some people that are just prone to be more red but I'm just gonna go ahead and press it right on my under eyes. It's also a really great job of like brightening up areas because of the little bit of pigment that lies in here. I'm gonna pop it right on this sucker right here. The good old stress set. And this is great because you can just toss it right in your purse if you get oily throughout the day and just need a little refresher. It comes with this applicator and you're good to go. All right, so now we're gonna move on to lips. Really cute lip combo. We're gonna go in with Lipstick and Magnolia, Lip Liner in Peach, which is my favorite nude, and then I'm gonna go over the top with Calla, which is like a pink with a little bit of a purple undertone to it. So Peach. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of overline my lips a little bit, which means that I go just on the underside of my lip here and here, not on the sides. I don't wanna look like Joaquin Phoenix and Joker, and that is what will happen if you start to draw outside the lines on the side. You basically want to exaggerate the inside of your lips, just like we exaggerate the brightness on the inside of our face, and you wanna sculpt in the sides so that you can kind of accentuate, like a bodycon dress. You know those dresses where it's like white in the center and then the, the shape of the dress is all in black? That's to like trick your eye. So we are all about the eye tricks. It's all we have sometimes. At least I know it's all I have sometimes. Hi Amina, hi Andrea. So we're going in with peach. What I love about peach is that you really can't, you can't really pinpoint that you're faking that juicy pout. It's kind of impossible to. All right, so overlining right in the center. 
just like that. See how on the underside and on the top. And then we're gonna tailor it up. And create a nice shape. And you wanna connect it right to the corner of your lips. Not only does lip liner help you create a bigger, more full looking lip, it helps correct the shape of your lip and it helps your lipstick to stay in place all day long. Um, to me, that's one of the best products you can use. The waxy border makes your lipstick sort of stay in this footprint of your lips. So if you're looking for a better wear on your lipstick, go ahead and grab a lip liner. All right, I'm gonna go in with Magnolia, which is one of my favorites. It's just a really pretty peach. perfect nude lip and I'm all about the varying shades of nude. All right, so one little trick I'm gonna teach you right now about making your lips look bigger without adding products to your cart is go ahead and grab that same light shade of concealer that you used and literally put the tiniest little dot on your skin. We're gonna wait until that lipstick dries out just a little bit. Another key to keeping your lip on all day long is to let your lip, whether it's um, a lipstick or one of our liquid lipsticks, is you want it to dry a little bit. And then we're gonna add a little bit of concealer right to the center on the top and the bottom. And we're just gonna blend it in with our finger just by tapping that See how it just made my lips look bigger because it's coming forward when you look at it. It's all about shadows and highlights, 100% about them. And we're gonna let that dry. And then we're gonna top it with this gorgeous shade, Kala. Um, keep in mind, all these products, especially ones on your lips, you, you lick them, you eat them, you ingest them, you want them to be clean. 100% clean, safe, beneficial is Arbon. 100%. So you don't have to be worried about chemical ingestion or is this safe or have they ever studied the effects of it. That's one thing you never have to worry about with Arbon and why I feel 100% confident in their products. All right, so Kala. Kala. And you see how it just pinks it up a little bit? I know it looks super pigmented in here. But a glossy lip also appears more youthful and sort of like thicker. I not like a big lip, you know what I'm saying? All right, so at this point I kind of do the old, my husband makes fun of me when I look in the mirror, like if I'm trying on clothes or fixing my hair, my mom, my sister and I, we all do it. We raise a brow and like, you know, we do, one of these and we like give ourselves the sexy eye and you change the part in your hair and then you you know give yourself the look this is this is getting ready in the morning with me 100 percent. hi andrea um could i use more bronzer what do we think I mean, honestly, I'm late to jump on. Hello. Hi, Andrea, how are you? You're three hours behind me, so you get a pass, sister. Um, you know, I could always go back in with more bronzer because I truly just feel that in my soul, but I don't need to. Um, I feel like this is good enough to go down to dinner in my pajamas with the kids for the eighth day in a row. All right, so one thing that does not come in the 18-piece makeup kit, but I 100% suggest that all my customers go ahead and grab it, is the Let It Set Refinishing Spray. I am a huge believer in setting powders and setting sprays. This one just feels and smells and all of those things like heaven, so I personally love it. Um, one of the things I wanna point out in the way that you put your products on, if you notice when I started, I started all with liquids and creams. 
and then we switched over to powders and I always finish with powders. So the way that you set your liquids and your creams is with a powder. The powder absorbs any extra moisture or oil on your face so that those products aren't going to shift as it gets more hot during the day, as your skin gets hot, as you get more oily, as the weather changes, none of that. Then when you go to powders, the way that you set powder is with liquid, like a spray. So I always say to finish your makeup with setting spray if you follow those rules you will see that your makeup lasts a lot longer and looks a lot better. Um, I can always tell when people use powder products and then they go in with like a liquid highlight and it just all looks chalky because they are trying to blend liquid over powder and it doesn't work that way. So um, if you follow the kind of liquids first, powders and then set with liquids, you won't have an issue with that. All right, so the 18 piece makeup kit that I just talked about, fully customizable, everything that you need for a full face. I do suggest adding this on. Um, I don't know if you can get it in the free gift list. I'll have to double check that for you, but you do get a free full size gift and you get free shipping on it. So that's available to all preferred customers. And if you're a preferred customer, it means that you get 20 to 40% off of the website for 12 months. Uh, free shipping offers, free gift offers, and this month all build your own bundles are 40% off of free shipping. So really, really good deals. Um, beyond that, if you are in an area where you're sort of experiencing um, like grocery shortage and things like that, I know it's kind of hit or miss where I am right now. I went to the store on Thursday and things looked really well stocked. Um, but the other, the day before that, my sister's like, there is no protein of any kind in the store. There's no meat, there's no eggs. Um, so Arbonne is deemed um, an essential business because we sell nutrition and things. So if you are looking to kind of increase your nutrition, we have really great products. I'd be happy to help you. Um, this is not like a sales thing. This is literally like a you need protein in your life. Your kids need protein in their life. I've been making my kids a protein shake every day just so I know that they're not eating nothing but carbs all day. And um, at least I know that they're getting like some really good shelf stable, clean, vegan, dairy free, soy free, gluten free nutrition. Because um, I know every day is an adventure right now. And we're just kind of trying to do everything we can to brace for impact before the next thing happens. Um, so if you guys are interested in that, if you're a preferred customer, you already get 20 to 40% off everything. But, um, you know, for me, I've been sort of feeling like a little out of control lately because I have no control in anything that's going on for the last like three to four months. Um, so to me, kind of getting my day started with the right nutrition has been sort of a key to having my headspace right. Um, cause the first thing that falls off, like gyms aren't open. I can't go exercise out my stress and tension at the gym right now. Um, and I'm locked in the house with my husband and my two kids. And that is kind of a pressure cooker situation. But if I know I'm killing it with my 30 day healthy living bundle, I feel really good about that. Like I feel like I have control over something and it makes me feel a little bit less neurotic. Maybe that's just me. I have a lot of things to unpack clearly. Um, but knowing that I'm not falling off the bandwagon on that does give me a little bit of like a, that's when you drink. <laughs> well, so funny story about that. My girlfriend, Nikki, no, my girlfriend, Katie came over the other day and dropped off a bottle of kettle one botanical grapefruit vodka. And I was literally so excited because it's my favorite and I don't ever drink. So I went to go get it the other night and my husband was like, leave it outside because of germs. Pick it up tomorrow morning. It was like right on our front porch. So the next day I go, did you see the vodka outside? Because I can't find it. And he's like, uh, it fell over and broke. I'm like, you're joking me. So no Kettle One grapefruit botanical vodka for Maggie. <laughs> so sad. Um, but I did have a glass of white wine last night and I did feel like, the calm wash over me. Just one glass, that's all I need. I actually don't like to drink, um, but I just need like something to take the edge off. I know. 
R.I.P. Kettle One. But if you haven't had the Kettle One Botanical Vodka, it's really, really, really tasty. It's refreshing. I have to like what I'm, the taste of what I'm drinking in order to get it down. So if I'm telling you it's good, it's good. All right, well, the natives are gonna come looking for me any minute because I've been up here. So I will take a picture and I will list all the products that I used. And then if you guys are interested in any products, if you need any nutrition, skincare, hair care, um, supplements, makeup, or uh, baby products or anything like that, we have all of it. It's all still shipping, 100% safe from Arbonne. Um, so if you need anything, just let me know. I'm happy to help you color match, customize a bundle, whatever the case may be. I hope everybody is staying safe, staying in your homes as much as you can. And if you ever need anything, always feel free to reach out. I love you guys. I'll see you soon.